Several factors shaped Alexandra's estate's place in London's post-war urban social housing experiment. The St Pancras rent strike 1960, huge rent rises led to rent strikes by tenants, eviction notices followed local support and sympathy strikes. The outcome influenced and set the agenda of the newly formed Borough of Camden's housing policy. Land prices, housing needs, political and financial pressure accelerated the rise of tower blocks. The 1956 Housing Act introduced subsidies to local councils for every floor built over five storeys. Building systems extended past through safety limits, lack of quality control and poor workmanship at critical connections contributed to Ronan's Point's collapse. In 1963, the London Borough of Camden was formed by amalgamated boroughs, Holborn, Camden and Hampstead. Camden, arguably London's most diverse and very wealthy borough, could afford the resources to invest in a new type of social housing. Architects rejected the characteristic form of post-war social housing, the high-rise, in an attempt to reconnect with recognisable features of traditional urbanism, streets with front doors and a private terrace or garden. Design influences would include Narc Movin, Moscow, noted for designing in section, different heights allow greater fluidity and user interaction. Yardios, heroic repetition of habitation units with private access alongside corridors or streets, enable to simultaneously increase population density. Biker Estate Newcastle, completed shortly after Alexandra Road, similarly used a massive wall barrier block to isolate the scheme from urban noise sources. It required a density of 136 persons per acre, leave of chief 212. That's 520 dwellings for 1,660 people, plus a special school, care centre, outdoor private and public spaces. The estate is formed by three linear blocks, the longest at 450 metres, organised along two pedestrian streets, Rowley Way and Ainsworth Way. The barrier block is inclined to the railway to gain useful space in the south. It does not try to hide its purpose as a barrier, nor its raw use of concrete material. Combined creates a seemingly blind elevation. Chamfered elevation is structured to increase the amount of visibility and light inside each habitation unit and creates private open spaces normally associated with a private garden. Each building block consists of an extruded section flanking either side a pedestrian friendly street, gives prominence to pedestrians whilst the zoning and underground parking contains cars. Nee felt that the interrelationship between dwelling and street was of great importance and each unit should have direct street access. Access is made by means of stairs and corridors open to the elements. Only the top floors in the northern block are facilitated by express lifts, which do not stop on lower floors. Reminiscent to a cul-de-sac, the design restricts circulation by discouraging those who have no purpose to be there. Eve provided for a harmonious utopian community by copious external green spaces of varying sizes and designs. The landscape's spatial consideration includes secretive and observed meeting areas, communal areas, landscape walkways, numerous greens and a four-kilometre park. Residents responded to the uniform design by showing their individualism through their balconies and terraces. Although not much bigger than a balcony, these outdoor roofs are adequate for practical purposes. Oh, the project was successful. However, it is natural that there are some issues with an experimental development such as this, particularly problems associated with unpredictable costs and maintenance. Lack of investment resources have somewhat created a sense of neglect, noticeable in the communal areas, boat and structure and landscape. The legacy of the Alexandra experiment has continued to influence upcoming social mass housing, Bedstead being a case in point. We can recognise Alexandra Road as a step along in the evolution of innovative and progressive mass social housing and can only hope that the current economic climate will not derail the provision of such carefully considered and imaginative developments in the future.